you know, just watching a bit more Deadwood, man, it was like pure addiction. I just go from nothing but Sopranos. I watch one bit of Deadwood, now it's all about Deadwood. Um, crazy, mate, but yeah, it's worse things to be addicted to than the best television ever made. Um, everyone knows about Game of Thrones, yeah, I like it. I like it, but yeah, it dragged on too long, man. I think it's just too. I love epic shows, but that's just a bit too epic, mate. Right? Um, but the brutality is obviously insane, but this rivals anything I've ever seen, and the realism. Basically, these two geezers just don't like each other, mate, and what it is. Basically, the two, oh, how do I put it? It's different because it's set in the Old West sort of thing. But what it is really is George Hurst is a boss of sorts and Al Swearingen is a boss of sorts and they're butting heads over various things. But they've both got their number twos who are their muscle, basically. Dan, fucking monster of a man. That, that is, don't, don't get me wrong, Swearingen is more than capable of handling himself, but... Like his number two is his muscle, and the other boss is number two, and they basically said, "Let's fucking let's, let's just go out in the street, man. I don't like you." Know what I mean, so the bosses have basically said, "Go on, and you do what you got to do." And uh, bosses have basically said, "If you two want to fight, it's up to you." So yeah, it's just a brutal fight, mate. Proper, proper brutal. Well realistic, man. Amazing filmmaking. Even that's a TV show. Like HBO. When they say it's not TV, it's HBO, mate. There's truth to that, man. There was nothing like this on TV before. But in the movies. Every way. Let me go back. Fucking sun up. I have to do all this at night, but then it's too fucking late, so I've got to keep it down. Don't let him keep it down. I miss Julia, man. She's crazy. The 10% of that bird I want to marry, 90% of that I want to fucking strangle. Supposedly it fights to the death, really, and it's not going to end well. I think it kind of goes without saying that they're just going to fight until either one of them just agrees to stop or to the death. Go back a bit. The big, big keys are Turner, the one on top, is much bigger and like Dan, but Dan's a tough bastard. That's Dan. <laughs> Couple of bears, mate. all these young millennials why is nobody stopping it why is nobody because they didn't work like that mate that's why because that's the way we do it <laughs> so these are the two bosses <laughs> Dan's in real trouble at one point. Oh, big punch. Dan's in bad trouble, but he, he does something desperate. Dan does something really desperate. See, the other is too big, man. And they must be getting proper tired. I think how tired they must be. They don't exactly look like fucking athletes either, do they? They're not exactly athletes, man. They must be fucking exhausted. There ain't no fucking ain't Nick Diaz is in there, you know what I'm saying? Big monster men, though. So they know it's to the death, the bosses. So they usually don't want to see their man get killed. But they're pretty sure it's going to be to the death. But Dan's in trouble. Good counter. What a fight this is. I hope this goes through. Without fucking copyright. 
I just have to refilm it otherwise and cut this out. <laughs> oh, this is it, the drowning. Yeah, he just drowns him. It looks like Dan's done. Yeah, just for copyright. Look, oh, dude, that's important, this bit. He's got him drowned. I'm just pausing it for a sec for copyright bullshit. I don't want to fucking do this again if I don't have to. You know, it's awesome. Basically, he's got Dan in trouble now, and there's big part, he's got him drowned. He's basically, I can kill him now if, if I want to. And he looks at his boss as if to say, give me the nod, should I do it? Um, this is where he's got to see this. This could help with the copyright bullshit as well. Concentration. Dan's back in it, mate. He does something very brutal and very desperate. Game of Thrones rivalry coming up, mate. Uh, I don't know what's more brutal, man, but this is well realistic. It's the most realistic fight I've ever seen between two massive men. the fight mate that will end most fights he doesn't have to kill him but I guess he's doing him a favour now I guess he's doing him a favour no law at this point don't forget there was no law in this town not officially people just sorted out their own shit mate He's saying, it's up to you, mate. If you want to kill him, kill him. It's all in the eyes, mate. And this was long before Game of Thrones, boys and girls. Over 21. Maybe over 30 with this shit. I can't recommend it highly enough. Deadwood, if you haven't seen it yet, bucket list that motherfucker. Y'all need to get in some proper good shit, mate, and fuck all this X Factor cunt licking nonsense. Fucking brutal.